You got it, you got it, you got it. Look, look, weak, weak, weak. Go through, go through. I'm then. <laughs> come here, AB, come here, AB. Let's try, let's try. AB, AB. Oh, oh, I'm through. I'm through. Let's try. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Blue wall. As we're checking out, D'Angelo Russell mic'd up. He's doing some film study, it looked like. Uh, As you're watching. Yeah, I was engaged. <laughs> Thanks for wearing the mic for us today. Um, it seems like that, that vocal leadership we see there, is that is that a different guy than a year ago? Definitely. Um, I mean, I, I speak on it a lot, just as far as having a... I don't really have the credibility, but having that one year under my belt, I guess I have a, a little a little something, and, and that's not nothing at all, but I, I kind of have a better feel, so I can speak and, and know what I'm talking about a little bit. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you log 82 games in this league, and you, you discover a lot about yourself. You discover a lot about your game. Uh, the things that you went into the offseason to work on, the things that you feel you're bringing now to this season were what? Um, just leadership, definitely leadership. Uh, being a point guard, um, Every point guard has that, that quality going into this whole new system, whole new environment, new coaches, staff, new everything. you, you got to have that. I, I like how you've ad admitted the things that you don't know yet and opened up to what Coach Walton has tried to throw at you guys here. But is there anybody outside the organization that you've kind of turned to to get some mentoring from? Honestly, I, not really, man. It's just been film on, my, you know, on myself on last season. Um, and then I feel like it's all experience. You get that experience, nobody can really tell you anything. You get that experience under your belt, you, you start to pick and choose what you need. I remember when we spoke heading up to the draft a couple of years ago and, and just how confident you were because you weren't expecting to be in that position the year before when you were entering college. Now that you've gone through what you went through last year, your ups and downs finished up really strong, was it a bit humbling for you? Uh, honestly, I don't think I had a bad year. Um, I mean, we had a bad year as a team, but when you when you look in the mirror, I, I, I wasn't I wasn't that that upset with myself. I know I definitely had a lot of work to do, but just going into that first season, I definitely know what I, what it takes going into the next season. You know, um, going into the first season, it was just more work on this, work on that, work on this, and now going to the second season, you have a better feel for what you can do to better yourself. You mentioned a lot of new new second season for you, new coach, new players in some cases, no Kobe Bryant. What's that like? I mean, it's different. I didn't really get the opportunity to um, to get to get really get used to Kobe. You know, I was there for one year. Um, I mean, we didn't really have a successful year. I learned a lot from him, though. But um, just without him around, it's, it's a totally different environment. You know, um, I don't know. It's just it's just different. I can't really put a put a nail on it and explain it. It's just completely different. Are, are there parts of what you're going through now, as if you feel like you're a rookie all over again because of? all that Kobe had his hands on here? Yeah, I agree. That's the best way you can really put it. Um, I didn't really want to say that, but that's the best way you can put it. Um, I, the mistakes and the errors that I made last year definitely learned from them, but um, the process of, of, of learning after the mistakes and, and knowing what, what I could have done and what I should have done is, is completely different. As the second pick in this past year's draft, Brandon is in the same position yeah, you yeah. were in a year ago. What yeah. advice? Can you have you been giving him or can, can give him and what yeah. have you seen so far? Uh, I think he's doing well. Just he, he's really attacking it. But um, last year I, when I, when I when I was going through it, it was a lot of hype coming out. And um, when I finally relaxed and just and just played and didn't really think about anything, I start to have a little success. And I feel like the sooner he does that, the better it'll be. Well, what's the key to the team chemistry coming together, regardless of what your record is? Um, I would just say everybody sacrificing. Um, you got what ten? You got a few new faces out here, so everybody has to sacrifice, no matter what 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 it takes. Just just sacrifice, and everybody has to be buying into winning. Well, D'Angelo, we look forward to seeing year two, and we appreciate you having us here at Real Training Camp, Lakers style. Cool. cool. Thank you. Thank you. D'Angelo Russell on NBA TV. We got, got more to do here. I got you, too. <laughs> Sorry, I left you hanging there. Sorry, good. <laughs> Luke Walton addressing the media. We'll wrap things up here from Santa Barbara next.